Fight fans, we got ourselves one hell of a pay-per-view this Saturday. We got ourselves UFC 294 in Abu Dhabi. We got ourselves in the main event, the part two of one of the greatest fights in lightweight history. We got ourselves Islam Makachev taking on Alexander Volkanovsky. We already know that this fight was actually supposed to be Charles Oliveira, but unfortunately Charles Oliveira fell out due to an eye cut. And in 12 days notice, well it's a little bit less now, but Alexander Volkanovsky decided to fill in for Charles Oliveira. And here we go, part two, Islam Volkanovsky. These guys fought earlier in the year back in February into a unanimous decision, I believe, for Islam Makachev. But guys, when I say it was very competitive, it was very competitive. You know, it was literally as if Islam met his equal, which in some ways he did. You know, in some ways he was able to steamroll over everybody. Even though he hasn't had much of a resume, but he still was able to beat everybody in his division um, with ease. You know, he never really went to decision. He never really went to a five-round decision. But in this fight with Volkanovski, he went to a five-round decision and got tested very well. You know, if you look at it, he actually was dropped by Volkanovski. He was almost in the fifth round. If that round would have went longer, possibly even stopped by Volkanovski. You know, he wasn't able to do what he was able to normally do to all these other guys in the lightweight division to Volkanovski. So Volkanovski was literally his equal that night. But 12 days notice, it really remains to be seen on how this is going to go. Because it's not just Volkanovski going in there with the odds against him. I mean, back in um, February, it was in Australia. And it was uh, a little bit to his favor, you know, because I believe there was not enough time to rehydrate, you know, so it definitely didn't play too uh, too good in the odds of Islam. But now we're in Saudi, excuse me, Abu Dhabi, and it's going to have a little bit more hydration clause for um, Islam, and it is 12 days notice where Islam's been training, you know, Islam's been um, doing his thing, he's been working, he's been um, trying to get better. But he's been training for Charles Oliveira. Where Volkanovski, he's coming off a surgery over his elbow, I believe it is. And he has not necessarily been training. I'm sure he's been training, but not fight training. Fight camp, he has not been in. So, it's going to be very interesting in this fight. Very, very, very interesting. So, let's break this down, shall we? You know, with Islam, it's going to be tricky. Because, again, he's been training for Charles Oliveira. And it's a totally different style than Volkanovski. Totally different body frame than Volkanovski. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see how this fight pans out for Islam. You know, he's been training for Charles. He's been training for a certain style done by Charles. But now, in 12 days, he has to prepare for Volkanovski. So what, Charles, what Islam's going to have to do is he's going to have to do his best to really keep his composure. And really do his best to make Volkanovski go all five rounds, if not four rounds. Make him wear himself out. You know, don't, you know, don't get careless and drop your hands or do something dumb where you're going to end up getting yourself caught. Don't go in there in that fire exchange against Volkanovski where you're in there exchanging fire with him in the first, second round to prove a point that you're a better uh, striker than he is, that you, can, you can't get knocked out. Everybody can get knocked out. doesn't matter how good you are. So you definitely, definitely do not want to do that with Volkanovski because Volkanovski is one hell of a fighter. Balls of brass, brass balls. You know, I mean, the guy is just a freaking animal. Animal in that cage. So, Charles, excuse me, um, Islam Makachev is going to have to, have to really wear, um, make this fight as wear down Volkanovski as much as possible. He's going to have to really take it into the deeper rounds. Because in the later rounds, fourth or fifth round, I do believe he can actually get a stoppage. I do believe he could possibly get a submission or even a ground and pound uh, stoppage over Volkanovski. Because Volkanovski is going in there really not in the best fighting shape possible. In that first fight, he trained for Islam and he was ready for Islam. So this one is going to be a little bit more trickier and a little bit more different. I'll break that down sh shortly. But that's what Islam's going to have to do going into this fight. What Volkanovski is going to have to do is make this into a, a, a war in the first three rounds. He's going to have to really do his best to go after Islam. He doesn't want to leave himself open. He doesn't want to go too crazy and just steamroll into a submission or steamroll into a kick or a punch that's going to knock him out. But he definitely wants to make, it himself, make this fight into a real brawl. He does not want to try to play where he's going to be able to um, go all five rounds. Because it's going to be very, very tricky to see if he can actually go all five rounds. Because again, he's only had this fight on 
12 days notice. So he's nowhere near prepared for that kind of fight style that he was able to do back in Australia back in February. So it's going to be really tricky for him to do this. So Volkanovski is going to have to make this into a firefight. He's really going to have to really do his best to make this into a war in the first three rounds to do his best to get Islam out of there. And if he could possibly make it to five rounds, he's going to have to do his best to survive rounds four and five because that's where Islam is going to really, really show his true skill, um, his skills. He's going to show all his talents that he has because he's going to be able to have um, a lot more energy going into these rounds because he's going to be a little bit more hydrated and he is not going to do his best to over, you know, overkill himself in the first three rounds. So that's what I strongly feel. I feel that Volkanovski is going to go out there knowing that he has nothing to lose, knowing that he has nothing to, um, like he is going to basically go in there and just do everything he can to get Islam out of there. Because like I just said, he has nothing to lose. Really nothing to lose. He's going in there 12 days notice. He is the featherweight champion of the world. He is going up against a guy who is much more bigger than he is, much more stronger than he is, and he lost to him um, in a very close decision. So, you know, even if he does lose, he did not lose. Even if he does get knocked out, hey, you know what? At least at the end of the day, he tried. He did his best and he tried. It's not going to do anything to his status as the featherweight king, and it definitely is not going to do anything status for, the, uh, for um, his overall career. You know, he is still going to be as one of the GOATs, and he's still going to be a beast of a man. He's still going to be dominant. He's still going to go in there and just be Volkanovski the Great. Alexander the Great Volkanovski. That's my personal opinion. So, guys, who's going to win this fight? I really want Volkanovski to win. I'm a big fan of Volkanovski, but I do feel like Izzam might just get the edge on this one. Just due to the fact of the short notice, due to the fact of the fact that he's only had 12 days notice, and due to the fact that Islam has been in training camp for quite some time, and he has a little bit more of a home field advantage. So guys, let me know in the comments of what do you think. Do you think Volkanovski is going to win? Do you think Islam is going to win? Do you think this fight is going to be better than the first fight? Let me know in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.